In today's episode, we're going to be looking at what's going on at the molecular level when a fluid's pressure changes from static to dynamic or vice versa. G'day, I'm Trav, and welcome back to the Fast and the Nerdy. I'm sure most of you know Bernoulli's equation, but for those that don't, it shows the inverse relationship of a fluid in a streamlined's three pressure components. It's static, dynamic, and hydrostatic pressures. An easy way to think about them is the static pressure is the fluid's pressure at rest, its dynamic pressure is the fluid's kinetic energy, and the hydrostatic pressure is its potential energy. As a quick example of the inverse relationship, we can see that the pipe is pinched at point 2. So for the conservation of mass to hold, the fluid will need to speed up to flow the same amount of fluid as point 1 over the same time period. This speed increase leads to an increase in the dynamic pressure or kinetic energy of the fluid. So for the equation to hold, as we don't have any height changes, the static pressure needs to reduce. This channel focuses on cars and as the potential energy of air doesn't change much as it either flows over or through them, we can ignore it and focus our efforts on the other two. Now that we've had a look at the equation as a whole, let's break the two relevant components down further, starting with the static pressure. The static pressure of a fluid is the pressure caused by each individual molecule hitting the surfaces. We can break the force from each of these interactions down into their X and Y components, but then sum all of our Ys over an area and then divide our result by that area, we get the static pressure. The dynamic pressure on the other hand is the energy of the fluid because it is in motion. The faster it is going, the more dynamic pressure it has. Which explains why with a reduction in the piping, like we saw before, the dynamic pressure increased. The increase in flow speed also aligns the molecules with the flow direction more, which means the molecules are more likely flowing in the same direction and that they are hitting the walls on more of an angle, reducing the force's Y component and with it, the static pressure. This is a simple way to explain it, which isn't perfect, but it does explain the vast majority of the changes. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see how this relates to ducting design, check out the video on your screen. If you'd like to learn more about race cars, head to the my blog, which the link's in the description, and I hope you have a great day.